It's Marvel time! Doctor Strange is again coming out with a new movie, Multiverse of Madness. And in this movie you can see this cool cubicle face animation which we are going to recreate today. We're going to show you how you can create a 3D model of your own head. We're going to make it like a cubicle animation on it and we're going to place it on our original body. And that's what we're doing today. <laughs> So I'm still working on my course about Unreal Engine 5. These numbnuts are bothering me again. To create your own 3D model, there are expensive ways and inexpensive ways. One of those inexpensive ways is apps. In the past, we already used many different apps, but for today, we'll do something different. And the software we will be using is Reality Capture. And a big benefit of using that software is that we can use our DSLR camera. Since we're using this camera, our texture is going to be of a way higher quality than we would have with a mobile phone. Now, what is very important when you're going to shoot with your camera is that your settings are right. Make sure everything is bright enough. Make sure you don't have any motion blur and also also make sure your talent is in complete focus. So close that aperture. I'll close it up. And when you're shooting your model, make sure you have all different angles. Go from top to the bottom, go all around their head, and also make sure you have some close-ups for those fine details. We have hundreds of photos, and like I said, we shot everything in RAW. So the first thing we need to do is an overall grading. This we quickly did in Lightroom, but you can also do it in whatever photo editing software suits you best. So we did a quick grade, make it bright and overall the same for every picture, and then we can just export everything to JPEGs. To make it yourself easier, create a separate map and save them in it. Now let's open up Reality Capture. I'll leave a link to their website in the description down below, where you can find information and a download link. I do have to say that Reality Capture is a paid software, but you can pay per model, which makes it very affordable. The first thing we'll do is import our photos. In the top left corner, just press the folder button. In the pop-up window, we look for our recently created JPEG folder and select that. The software will now start with importing all the photos, which can take a while. Next, when the importing is done, just click on Align Images. This will start the stitching process linking every photo we made. Again, this will probably take some time. The next step will be calculating our 3D model. Just hit the Calculate button on top and yes, again, we need to wait. Then we follow this up with the Simplify tool. The triangle count of your model will be fairly high depending on your scan. So in the target triangle count, we can lower it and after that hit Simplify. And surprise surprise, we wait again. All this waiting is driving me crazy. Once that is done, we have one more step, the texture. For this, we will select the texture mode, which should give us a higher resolution. And yes, here we have to wait too. But then the magic, boom, our 3D model of our head is fully done. And look how beautiful it is. We sadly have some errors in the hair, but for what we needed, it's more than enough. Now, we only have to export it as the FBX file and of course pay for the model. This model costed us around 10 bucks for a fairly detailed head of Jordi. Now, like you can see, creating your own 3D models can be time consuming. But luckily, we have Storyblocks, the sponsor for today's video, to help us save time in post production. In their ever growing library with more than 1 million royalty free, high quality stock assets, you can find numerous assets perfect to give your edit that something special. Like, for example, stunning aerial shots, macro shots, lens flares, and so on. Now, besides that, you can also find all stock assets in HD to 4K resolution various After Effects templates, which will save you a lot of time, epic music and sound effects for your videos and so much more. Like we already said, Storyblocks is a filmmaker's best friend and will help you save a lot of time while working on a project. They really help us to tell our story in the best possible way and bring it to life. A great example for this was our Space Jam dunk effect. When our hero is running towards the hoop, you can see all these HUD elements on the ground. These we all got from Storyblocks and combine them together to create this big glowing Space Jam HUD effect. And to top that off, you can download as much assets as you want from their library with the unlimited all access plan. So that means you can create as much videos as you want. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash cinecom. Oh, I should have chosen a different expression. Like holding like this for half an hour, my face hurts now. 
we have this beginner video where we explain Unreal and here Gino Tarabotta asked us in the comments how did you make this large frog? Well we used Polycam to scan the frog and we actually made a whole video about it. It's basically the same principle as we are doing today, scanning your object and making it 3D. But the difference is that we used an app and our phone to scan the frog and today we are using a camera and some software on the desktop. If you have some questions for us, leave them in the comments below, we read them all and we'll try to answer them in the next videos. Fire up Cinema 4D and let's import our 3D model. The first thing we'll be doing is matching the perspective to our video. Next up, it's time to cut up the head. This we did by using the Voronoi Fracture. When this is added, you will see different fragments all over our model. And you can keep it like that if you want, but we'll be going for a closer look to what they showed in the trailer, those rectangular shapes. So to change this, we can create a matrix and adjust the settings so it covers the face. The amount of cubes doesn't really matter, that's all up to you. Once you're happy with that, go back to the Voronoi Fracture and in the source tab, you want to add the matrix object. If everything went well, our model is cut up in squares. In the selection tab, we also activated inside faces, so we can later on add a reddish color to the inside of the face. To animate the pieces, we use different fields for the randomized object to pull out different parts at different speeds of the face. And with that done, we can render it out and bring it into After Effects. Now that we have our cube animation on our face, let's composite everything together. In After Effects, we are going to track the motion of our original head, and this tracking we will do with the Mocha AE effect. Then we place our newly rendered animation on top of our original clip and position the head on top of each other. Next, with the Mocha effect, we added the tracking data to our 3D head, making it stick to the real Jordi. Now it's just a matter of masking away the parts that we don't want, like the 3D hair. And actually, that's all there is to it. As an extra detail, we brought back the real eyes. This was done by masking away the 3D eyes and placing the real ones underneath the 3D model. And that's it for this cool Doctor Strange effect. Hi, I'm Jordy, and this right here is the Multiverse Apparatus. Let's see if it works. Come on. It works! Oh snap. That's how you can create the Doctor Strange Multiverse Face Scatter. But don't worry, Jordi is doing just fine. I wouldn't say that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Storyblocks for the support. And as always, stay creative. Now, now click this video right here, this link, and see more cool awesome effects we created.